Hey, it's Rich. And Taylor. With Timeline Spirits. Okay, I'm gonna give you full permission this time. To say yes. We are back! It's been a little bit of time. Sorry to say we've been busy. We've I been guess. very, very busy. There's been a lot going on, and we've only been able to record in the studio once in like the last six weeks. Bad. Uh, yeah, so we apologize for that, but we are dedicated to bring you more content in the coming months. We got a bunch of ideas, we got some stuff to talk about, um, so stay tuned. So if you like our videos, if you can hit the subscribe button and follow us as we explore the better side of wine and spirits, we'd highly appreciate it. Awesome. But we are back we to are. discuss the next Rody Bauer Brotherhood pick. Absolutely. This is super exciting because this is actually V2, or the second installment. Yes. Uh, of the Copper and Cast. The Copper and Cast, yeah. So um, we did a Copper and Cast pick, um, just a straight bourbon. Yep. Uh, sometime last year, there's been so many Rody Barrel Brotherhood picks that have come in that I honestly can't keep track of all them. Um, but we did a pick last year. Uh, it was a really good value. We really liked it. We thought the bourbon was really good. Uh, and we were kind of like, cool, we did it. We're, on, we're ready to move on. So we did, went back about four months ago or so. We ended up tasting this. We did. So it's a six year old bourbon, but the difference here is we're going back for a toasted barrel. Yes. So God, it's a, the nose is just fantastic. Yeah, so this is this is going back into, a, it's going into a brand new virgin oak wine cask rather than a bourbon cask, right. which is ever so slightly bigger, uh, which gives a little bit more oxygen within that, which Randall, who's the guy behind all this stuff, really likes the way that that helps the, the whiskey mature and add sort of character and flavor to it. Actually talking about that, we were so lucky enough to go down and meet with Randall and kind of look at these different casts and the yeah. different sizing and he kind of explained why it's done. And actually when we were there, we actually had a really good time oh. evaluating lots of other barrels. Yeah, so with the Rody Barrel Brotherhood guys, we went down there uh, and sat down and, and picked a few things, um, started working on a few new projects. There were so many cool things happening there. This was, we're like, okay, the first one was like, this is good. The second one, we're like, oh, this is like something we really need to be paying attention to. And then we went there and it was like, off, like off the charts. Yeah, off the charts. So many cool things. Um, one other thing that I just noticed, so this is a mash bill of 60% uh, corn, 36% uh, rye, and 4% malted barley. Yep. Um, high rye. And it's at high rye. It's at 57.7%. No way. But you know what's really interesting? Our first pick was 57.7%. No. Th I swear to God, it's right there on the thing. Even, I don't know. 57.7. It's the same thing. That it's is... the same alcohol level, which is wild. These are cast rank picks. There's no cutting down on these things, and they happen to be the same one. That's wild. That is incredible. I did not. Yeah. Wow. I know. That is crazy. Okay, first off, <laughs> wow. It's, wow. The nose is fantastic. There's this beautiful, I think, like caramel, like toasted marshmallow. It's funny, the rye's not coming across no, the nose. You're no. expecting that there. Yeah, no, I get a lot of the wood influence. So you get, yeah, you get yeah. the caramel. I get like a little that toasted toast coconut. Barrel. You get cinnamon, baking spice. There's a little bit of like a, like a burnt orange uh, peel in the nose. Uh, I think the nose is dynamite. And the more that this is opened, it just keeps getting better. Okay, so now that definitely a high ride mash bill I'm getting on the palate though. It has this great, a little bit of that, that pot, like a pepper, not pepper, but that spicy finish that you yep. get. Uh, like the evergreen spice. Evergreen, that, like, that oh. like sort of subtle green sort of rye spice. Yes. And it's mm. great because it's really lingering. It has a beautiful effect. Absolutely. There's also like a, a really nice creaminess on the palate. Um, it's really good sort of attack. There's a great length to it. It just kind of carries on and on in the palate. So talking with some of the guys in the group uh, that have been drinking this over the last week or so, everybody is absolutely wowed by this. It's it, and, and frankly, I am too. I think it's delicious. It is. Dynamite. So we're gonna be releasing this on Friday morning, uh, April 21st, uh, 9 a.m. It's gonna be $59.99, absolute bargain, uh, and I think you guys need to grab some. Seriously, six yeah. year old, toasted, gotta get it. And this is just the beginning, because Copper and Cask is gonna become a big thing for us. We are wildly excited. We are. We are. So there'll be more coming on that, but uh, hey, hop online, uh, check it out, buy it, and we'll see you in store. All right. Thanks again. Cheers. Hey everyone. Hi. What is it? What is it? Hey everyone, it's Rich. <laughs> you fucking forgot the other part. <laughs> See, I told you I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. Hi. <laughs> Hi Rich. Hey I'm, Taylor. I'm Taylor. <laughs> I'm for Taiwan Experience. 
Hey, it's Rich. And Taylor. With Tao I just point down my game. Okay, let's redo that. That was weird. Come on. I, it's all about engaging with the audience. <laughs> okay, sorry. Never point. That, that's why I like it that all the politicians will like use their phones because yes. like, they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to be like, <laughs> like, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's what they really want to do. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's Rich. No, what was that? Hey, it's Rich. <laughs> Come on. What was that? Yeah, I was so like, hey, hey, man. It's 420. Hey, man. You got to get <laughs> a little more. Okay. I don't, okay. Not a ton, but just uh, like, like, yeah. Okay. 